protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com We've seen celebrities like Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, the basketball player Karl Malone all come out and say that they support the Second Amendment, even though it's a very taboo thing to do in Hollywood right now. Because every time you see an interview with somebody saying how bad the guns are, even though these people, uh, the real famous ones, they live with uh, armed security or they lived out in some secluded area, you know, have patrols coming and saving them. They go to these uh, events that have security all around, but not for the average American citizen. So you need a means to protect yourself. And now when you see these interviews, they say, we need to ban this, we need to ban that. And the actor Kurt Russell has come out and said, banning everything is not going to limit terrorism. Because yes, you can commit a crime with a firearm. You can also make a homemade bomb with stuff that you buy at a Home Depot. You can drown somebody in four inches of bath water. You can drive on the sidewalk and hit 37 people like just happened in the city of Las Vegas. So banning everything is not the answer. So now we go to Alex Jones, who has more on Kurt Russell's latest statement. Here's a story that is going up on Infowars.com in the next five minutes. They're in there proofreading it right now. But I said, this is so important. The Daily Beast reported uh, on, uh, of course, Kurt Russell going on TV shows. And, and they keep asking him, what's this about guns? And he keeps defending it. Now he goes, look, I'm a hardcore libertarian. Watch out. I don't want to go all the way here. Hollywood's full of fake conservatives and liberals who aren't patriots. I believe in the founding fathers. I believe in 1776. I mean, I've been told he's a listener. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like to get political. Yeah. But we are reaching out to him. Uh, and, again, and again, I was told by a director here in town years ago uh, that, well, I mean, it's, it's Rick Linkletter, uh, came on the show and talked about Bruce Willis being awake. And then a few months later, he was in Vanity Fair talking about the New World Order, Kennedy being killed, and that I woke up Bruce Willis. And, again, I'm not bragging about this. That interview's on record. It shows the power of this little show because they were making, um, I guess it was eight, nine years ago, they were making... Um, the big uh, film here in town with Robert Rodriguez uh, that had him in it. Uh, what's the one where they're in New York City? And it's, it's like Gotham, Sin City, Sin City. And then he was also doing some work with Linkletter and literally heard my radio show, tuned in, got the films, and woke up just being here in town a month. Wow. So, so, so that shows he went from being a Republican. He said this at Vanity Fair. I used to be a Republican. Now I see they're all controlled by the same people. The people that killed Kennedy run America today. There's been a coup since then. So I never reached out to Willis. We are reaching out to him now. I don't expect him to come on because these people get threatened and intimidated. Then I was told that, oh, Kurt Russell's in town too. And, you know, he, 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 he likes your show. And again, he was already a libertarian. I was even told then. It's just that this show accelerated his awakening. And so I'm not bragging when Jeff Bridges calls me uh, and, you know, says he's a huge fan of the show and listens all the time. Uh, I'm not on a power trip about Alex Jones. You need to know this signifies just because I'm a public figure, so they're able to reach out to me or I get these pings, you know, this info, like Viggo Mortensen. I was at a media event, saw an InfoWars flag on a, on a mic, said, hey, I like Alex Jones. I'll come on. You know, here's my number. Came on. Listens every week. And that's Viggo Mortensen, super ultra liberal, but a real liberal. Yeah. See, somebody that's yeah. actually educated and informed. So, and you can disagree with us on some issue, you know, but <laughs> people who are really there, people like uh, uh, John Cusack, I mean, he has, is hardcore Democrat, but he came out against Obama because of what Obama did with the NSA and with wars and other things. All we ask is you that. have integrity exactly. as a liberal or a conservative. Exactly. When Republicans do bad stuff, we go after them. I'm, I'm not a Republican, I'm a libertarian. But that's historically more allied with Republicans because of guns and, th and you know things like that and lower taxes. But there is a takeover of the Republican Party happening by the real Tea Party movement, not the one they tried to co-opt, uh, fragments of it, and, and they admit that's the main threat. So again, going over all this, I may have to go to the next segment because I'm you know ranting off in other subjects. This huge awakening is happening, and now Kurt Russell's not backing down. He's doubling down, saying, I'm a hardcore libertarian. Uh, I'm sick of the left-right system. You know, we need to get back to our original roots. 1776, the article is going live as we speak at Infowars.com. You need to hit refresh on that. We have links to the video and audio of where he says it. That's great because, you know, when I, you listen to that whole interview, he, he's trying to plug the film, Hateful Eight, that's coming out. And he's he's got an interview with a guy, and the guy keeps coming after him about guns and gun culture and gun control. And he keeps saying, I'm here to talk about a movie. This is about art. I don't want to talk about politics. But the guy keeps on, and after a while... When you hear that interview, he just loses it. And so he says, now what's happened, you know, instead of him not wanting to be public, being prodded, 
He's now gone on The View, and now other shows that is getting more hardcore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the new video and audio at InfoWars.com. Now continuing here. They're going to counter-strike against us because this big awakening is happening. Congress has a 9% approval rating, three years running. Uh, people know college is a fraud now because there are no jobs or infrastructure for it. It's more of an indoctrination center. The system is tripling and quadrupling down on oppression. And the harder they squeeze, like a beach ball into the water, the more it's coming up. These are historical paradigms that we are extremely well aware of. Now continuing, what is their counter-strike going to be? It's going to be social shunning, like they did in Nazi Germany from 1933 until about 1939. Hitler didn't start rounding up his political opposition, whether they were conservative, liberal, it didn't matter whether they were Jewish, communist, you know, German high command, until 39. At first, it was demonization. At first, it don't give you licenses. At first, it's not let you do business. At first, it's telling people don't do business with them or you'll be shunned. Then by 37, 38, they start knocking the windows out. Then they start burning people's businesses down. Then they say, you go to this ghetto and you live there to all these different political groups. And then they start arresting you and, and, and selectively going after folks, breaking down the communities, getting people to tattletale on each other, setting up controllers like George Soros and others who would manage ghettos and then make the Jews and others think they were on their side and then feed on them. That's what the ADL, Southern Poverty Law Center, all these groups are literally the children of the people that were the master Judas goats to feed on those groups. That's a microcosm. The Soviets do the same thing. They invented the term back in the 30s, a political correct or correct political speech is what it translates out of. They had commissars, political officers, thought police, who would go around uh, pushing this stuff with the NKVD and other groups. But they didn't have to enforce it themselves because there were throngs of people that would fawn to the black uniforms, the black boots, to all of it, and, and, and want to prove their worthiness. So domestically, they're coming in with a Strong Cities UN initiative that actually in D.C. and L.A. and Chicago are building UN substations, UN embassies that will nexus with police and others to make sure the police and local governments are behaving correctly. Now, why do they want the local police? Schwarzenegger heads up the munitionization program of the UN. They can't get the states to go along with carbon taxes or the feds to pass it. So Obama does it by executive at the top illegally. They come into the cities, fly these mayors and people around, literally to the finest $5,000 a night hotels, jet copters, hookers. They don't call them that. It's just, here's your, I mean, folks, I've talked to them. It's come out in the news. They go, your city can get diplomatic immunity. You can get a UN card and go to these UN junkets around the world and have immunity. So, so this is new forms of royalty. So they're setting up the new forms of royalty. They're going to then come in with these commissions, these, these truth and reconciliation commissions. That's what all the demonization of police is about. A lot of it legitimate, but the end is evil to then globalize them. And if they get certified by the UN, if they fall and become political police, and go after people's speech and guns and the rest of it, the UN will give them political cover and sucker, aiding and abetting a sucker. So this is the system. You already see the UN at the border saying, you know, we're going to sue uh, Arizona. We're going to sue Arpaio. And they are now because you're arresting people. You're following the law if somebody doesn't have ID and is drunk driving. I, I mean, in Travis County and other cities, they are above the law illegals. And we're not against the illegals. It just shows how they're a protected group because it's part of a program. Now, continuing. There's hundreds of ways they're going to counter-strike us, but make no mistake, they, they legalized the CIA operating domestically. It was already happening with, quote, deception last year. That was in the Washington Post. That was in Foreign Affairs. We played the Pentagon press releases, literally saying, don't run, we're your friends. Quote, the Army Undersecretary, the Undersecretary of Defense, you can watch the hour video, saying, we're sorry we've lied to you. Now we're going to be involved in every town and city interfacing with you with the truth. And so they've embedded all these PSYOPs people that, that overthrow other countries and controlled Iraq and o overthrew Ukraine. They are now embedded. And people are getting off on it. People are walking up to Hollywood stars saying, watch it, I'm CIA flashing badges. And they're literally just been in it six months. They're not even CIA. They're just adjunct commissars. Literal. Let me just give you more data. Let me give more data. Just remember three months ago, it was mainstream build newspaper. People didn't believe it when InfoWars reported on it. They're actually hiring at Facebook in Germany, former high-level Stasi, the worst police state ever. Well, that's it for our show tonight. We definitely do wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. 
and encourage you to stop by prisonplanet.tv. Get yourself a free trial. You can see the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, the rants, all right there at prisonplanet.tv. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again this holiday season. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.